Jack Sack and Dennis Kutha look to put their names in the boys' final, while Sloane Stevens hopes to reach her first Grand Slam final. Stay tuned for the Junior Report. In the first matchup of the day, number 10 Dennis Kudla advances to the final with a 6-3, 6-2 win over Augustin Velodi of Argentina. 18-year-old Kudla is from Arlington, Virginia and turned pro last year. Kudla served three aces and won 76% of points on his first serve in the match, which lasted less than an hour. Leading up to the quarterfinals, all of your matches went three sets, but in the quarters and the semis, you've been blowing by your opponents. How, what's changed? Uh, you know, nothing really. I just started hitting my targets and really playing the way I wanted to play. And, you know, I played my way into the tournament, so it just, you know, it just comes together. What was going through your head in the win today? Uh, not much was going really through my head. I was just playing out there. Then luckily I got to 6-3, 5-2, just like that. And then knowing I had to serve for it and then got a little nervous, but <laughs> pulled it out. You're in the finals. Are you excited? Yeah, very excited. You know, looking forward to it. And... Uh, go scout out my other match. And we haven't seen an American win here since 2000 when Andy Roddick did it. What would it mean for an American to win the U.S. Junior Open? Uh, I think it'd mean a lot, especially to me, and knowing that you're following Andy Roddick's footsteps, which is unbelievable. In the final, Kudla will face 17-year-old fellow American Jack Sock, who advances with a straight set win over Martin Fuksovics of Hungary. Sock won 85% of points on his first serve, 82% on second serve, and has yet to drop a set in the singles draw. The All-American final guarantees an American boy will win the U.S. Open for the first time since 2000, when Andy Roddick defeated fellow American Robbie Ginepri in the final. American boys have been the runners-up in the last two years. What is your head-to-head -head with Kudla and what do you expect in the matchup? I've only played him once actually in, in the juniors. It's kind of weird growing up together, but um, I played him at Kalamazoo my first year in the 16s and I lost uh, four in the third. But um, we're both a lot, a lot better now. We're both improved a lot, gotten bigger, stronger. So it'll be a good match and just going out there and gonna try to play my best. What would it mean to you to win the title? It obviously mean a lot. I mean, it's a, it's a Grand Slam a junior event. I mean, it's a pretty big, I mean, it's a big deal. So um, I'm happy we're both in the final, two Americans. So whoever plays better, we'll, we'll get it done. In girls' action, the last American girl standing, Sloane Stevens, looked to reach her first Grand Slam singles final. She would have to get past number one Daria Gavrilova to get there. Stevens came out firing but dropped the first set 7-5. That seemed to get her amped up as she cruised through a quick 6-1 second set win. In the third, Stevens and Gavrilova held serve until Stevens broke for the 4-3 advantage. Gavrilova came straight back, breaking Stevens to even the set at four games all. From there, the two hard hitters battled to a tiebreak. Gavrilova built a 4-0 lead, a hole that proved too deep for Stevens to overcome. Serving 115 miles per hour, Stevens won 53% of the points off her first serve, but double faulted eight times to Gavrilova's six. There is a bit of consolation for Stevens as she earns the girls' doubles crown because her opponents withdrew. This is her third Grand Slams doubles title. Here's a look at other scores from day seven. Join us on the final day as Jack Sock and Dennis Kudla both look to put their name on the champion's line. Thanks for watching the Junior Report. For USOpen.org, I'm Danielle Elliott.